And finally for today's episode, let's turn to Alejandra Castillo for a look at Adventist history. This week, the Adventist Church in Russia opens Zaoski's Theological Seminary. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. This week we wish happy birthday to the Zaoski Theological Seminary, commemorating its grand opening on December 2, 1988. Nested in the woodlands of Russia's Tula region, approximately 75 miles away from Moscow, this coeducational college and ministerial training school became the very first Protestant seminary in the former USSR. This, as one can imagine, was quite a feat for our church leaders in the region, and they worked tirelessly to get the government's permission to make it happen. The resilient and persistent efforts of several individuals, most notably that of head of the SDA church, Mikhail Kulakov Sr., and his son, are largely to be credited with this achievement, which was nothing short of a miracle. The official permission to construct the school was given in January 27, 1987, and soon after, volunteers from across the Soviet Union flooded into Zaoksky to build the seminary under the leadership of Vasily Novosad. Many church members dedicated tireless hours to overcome the challenges of building the school along with a residential apartment building. Today, what began as a small class of 16 students attending classes in Tula has grown into Zaoksky Adventist University, which houses five educational institutions, Zaoksky Theological Seminary, the Christian Institute of Arts and Sciences, the Christian Professional College, the Seventh-day Adventist School K-12, and the Middle-Air Agro-Studies Center. Graduates of government-accredited degree programs receive government diplomas as well as denominational diplomas, which enables them to find jobs in a wider marketplace. That was This Week in Adventist History.